All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Birds Eye Plays. Uh, Cyberpunk. Uh, I just got Johnny's aviators from that chipping in mission. I didn't even think to look. But we're almost done with getting all of his stuff. Almost. Oh, uh, blip. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. Who are you? I don't We're remember you. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. <laughs> Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? No. Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face. Oh wait, I remember him now. Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. Feel like such a gonk now. Come here because you want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? That's fair. Well, I was just passing time, but You'll never all right. get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Suddenly comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd. Given how much work I gotta put into it. <laughs> Done saying hello to each other? Revolution nope. won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preemie tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulse is to plant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. Hmm. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it. Mm. I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right. But I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. Yeah, that's All fair. Right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a Kung Fu training virtue. Admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Nah, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Sure. 
Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah. Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some hey, cardio! Nice work, Judy. Outdid yourself. If you were to sell that, you'd be the richest Judy in the NUSA. <laughs> Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, ships are getting micro-nuked. Okay, okay. That probably sells it. The ship works. Let's get to it, then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Even though I could probably take the whole thing myself. Proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him in the street, like while he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in the back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? He's probably crawling with guards. Hiromi don't go anywhere without security, so one makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which Fair. is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Stick yeah. Stick precious necks out for a bunch of whores? You can count on me. In, Judy. I can do I it. Said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, v. I mean, I'm mostly not saying Save no, just because, again, later, achievements. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. <laughs> Michael, later. Give us a lift. Nice Only ass. Don't talk to me. Feel a Sorry, it was like right there. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Yeah. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. All right. Thanks. Nice of you to think of that. Ah, uh, don't mention it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. V, everything okay? Okay. V, you don't look good. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Uh, yes. Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna collect. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Uh, sure, actually. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Oh.
Uh, had to run, didn't want to wake you. Left me some breakfast. Eh. It won't let me. There we go. Hang on. Uh. Okay. What was the message I just got? There we go. You're welcome, Claire. Anyways. Hey. Alright, so I guess that's done. Yeah, nothing else is available yet. I should turn this on for a second. Aha! I have been wondering for the life of me why I haven't gotten the achievement for Pacifica. And now I know. It's because there's an assault in progress there. Still. I could do with the fast travel. To the right. Okay, that should be close enough. Pistol, that, and shotgun. Greetings. I have not taken... I have not died in a while, have I? At least not as me. I died as Johnny, that's for sure. Fine, fuck it.
There we go. Yeah, if memory serves, that was the only achievement I was actually missing. For that shit. Alright, somebody had a bike. Found a bike. But I like this one. Feeling better? I have a lead on Grayson. Okay. Sit tight, comb through some intel. Which probably just means I need to just do this mission for now. Thank you, computer, for letting me know there's an update. That was very fucking loud in my ear. Hey. Oh. I've finally reached the point of no return. You will be locked out of all unfinished side jobs and other activities like gigs and all all until all your main jobs are complete. One sec. There we go. Now I'm out of combat. Okay. Just in case. Not exactly one of your strong suits. Listen, Meh. first sign of trouble, be Delta. Thanks. She emptied the place. Shit. Excellent. You have come. Yes. All over the place. Thanks for meeting me. Of course, B. And I thank you. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind. Because you've turned evil. Uh. I'm not sure of anything. If you could trust me, if your Nobu killed your father, now. I knew. From the start. You knew? All the board members knew. 
Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate, inconsistent. That's fair. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Hmm. Huh. Guess Yorinobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly. That it is difficult. Mm hmm He's your brother. It's been hard. It'll be hard. Let's say I get that. What changed your mind? We received a warning during the parade. Security protocols were violated. The first doubts sprouted then. They grew yet greater in your hideout. When my brother's assault group arrived, not to rescue, but to kill. Yorinobu was just plain willing to sacrifice you. My father was right about my brother. He never cared for us. I was brought up to be the heart of the family. It is time for the Arasakas to listen to their heart. It will bring justice. Did you bring Soul Killer? As we agreed, you Finger would. Finger on the trigger. Don't say a word. Of course I didn't bring Soul Killer. Afraid we don't know each other that well. You prefer to keep your guard up. Understandable, but unnecessary. We are here because I know how to save your life. I can lead you to Mikoshi. Mina, mm. Mikoshi don't exist in real space. Yet its access points do, and one is very near. Where? Here in Night City, beneath Arasaka Tower. We ought to leave right now. Wanna leave? What gave you that idea? Quit button in so I can hear her out. This is gonna be a disaster. Sit. We have little time. Sure know how to prick up my ears. Go on, talk. My brother. You catch a whiff of that? Smells like shit. Careful not to step in it. He must be Shut made up. to take responsibility for his deeds. Just say it. Be easier that way. I want him punished. Still vague. You want him dead. I want the Arasaka Corporation to know the truth. How you plan to do this? Yorinobu. Hanako-sama. Soro-soro, go-jitaku ni omodori itadaite. Sugu ni sumu wa. Yorinobu will soon call a meeting of the board. Representatives of all factions are expected to attend. The perfect moment for them to learn the circumstances of my father's death. I will get you into this meeting, and you will testify against my brother. Uh. Testify? Listen, mind if I'm straight with you? Help me get rid of Yorinobu. I will help you get rid of the construct. Offers intriguing. Need to think about it. Naturally. But think quickly. Yorinobu is on high alert after the parade. He may harbor suspicions. We're getting the fuck out of here. Are you well? 
Yeah, yeah, it's just dumb. You are bleeding. Fuck. It seems you are running out of time. Don't delay. Make your decision. Uh, I'll think it over. You could use some air. Right now. <coughs> oh, God. Come on, V, breathe. I warned you. What? What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm showing you what it's like to feel fucking trapped. Asked you, warned you, but you've insisted on not giving a shit. Now this porcelain cunt's gonna use you in her fancy scheme. Fuck off. I haven't agreed to anything But yet. I know you still don't understand how these leeches operate. She met you face to face. She revealed her plan. She sunk her teeth deep into you. Not gonna be able to pry yourself out. Well, you could ask the Aldecaldos to lend a hand. Listen, I know you and Pan Am got a thing going. I get it. I do. But that's what makes it such a shitty idea. You don't want to rope her into this. Made the same mistake myself once. Johnny. Great, you checking out again? Oh God. Jesus Christ. My controller is still vibrating. Sensitivity is a good sign. Means your optic nerves aren't damaged. How... How'd I get here? Dragged yourself here. Beat to hell and back. You missed the hell of a fright. Then you shoved my patient at the time off the table. And demanded you be treated immediately. Tell him it was your guardian angel. <laughs> Damn it, Johnny. I, uh... Wasn't completely myself. Yeah, I know. And that's a bit worrying. Just give it to me straight, Vic. You've come to a critical juncture. Try sitting up carefully. Okay. Don't expect a miracle. Ah! So slowly. Another victory for the history books. <laughs> hmm. Well, looks like I can sit up all right. But I can tell you don't have good news. How much longer is this going to go on? You tell me. Looking at you, not long at all. Next to tell, you will be able to crawl back here. 
You'll flatline in some back alley. This is your last chance to take matters into your own hands. Understand? I know, Vic. I'll try. Soon. No. You'll do it now. Now, see that setup over there? Yeah? What about it? You'll find a last dose of pseudo endo in there. A gift from Misty. Want to give in to the voices in your head? Go ahead. Take a puff. Go silent. Get out. Or find another way. End things on your own terms. Got a little present for me over there, too. Blockers. Manage to walk those few yards to the table. The rest will be up to you and you alone. So is this the decision? On your own terms, huh? Really subtle there, Doc. Enough, Johnny. I just gotta think about it. Need, need to stretch, stretch your noodle? Fine. Fine. Just not, it's in, not this in this basement. V, Christ, you're talking out loud. Well, out loud? What? Just go fix this thing. I uh, think I can do it. Whatever you decide. Let's make sure to get out of here first. Hey V, I heard... Well... Your thoughts? Shouldn't have had to. Sorry about that. No need to be. I know what's going on. And I know it won't be easy... ...for either of you. If you don't want to decide here, I know a much better place. Yeah? Sure. Lead the way. Why is this spot special? I took Jackie there once. It's not far. Jackie? What's he got to do with any of this? You'll see. Come on. Can I save here? Good, I can. Okay. Since, you know, haven't made the decision of which one to take yet. I assume that'll come later. I just want to get as close to that decision making as possible. Because, <clears throat> again, achievements. What, you want me to hit the button? Top floor. He had the same glum face. Oh, Jack. This is it, Chica. I'm done for. Doesn't sound like the Jackie I knew. That was a long time ago. His mom had just found out he'd signed up with the Valentinos. Trust me. Senora Wells on one shoulder, your gang Chumbas on the other. No choice can ever seem right. Mm -hmm. Life wasn't easy for my Jackie, but... He found the courage to bet on himself. After. I brought him here. Ah, oh, that's See more that? like it. Air. All right, now that we've had that conversation. to get away. Be alone with my thoughts. She's on to something. Ought to sit, mull through some shit yourself. Thanks, Misty. You were right. Choice spot. So what decide of here? Oh, you know gonna be a legend in this city <laughs> and I'm gonna leave you alone now take your time fucking scared me know that thought you were on your way out no 
you're still here. For now. You know, you should call anyone you want to say goodbye to. Worst case scenario. That would you expect? No. But whatever you decide, risk's gonna be high. If things don't go our way, just fucking do it. Anyone you gotta talk to, now's the time. Pills can wait. I'm calling Pan Am. Pan Am. Yeah. I just want to hear her voice. That's where I'm gonna have to end this, because we're getting pretty far into this episode and I think some things are about to happen so thank you guys so much for watching sorry uh, next time with Bruce we'll go ahead and call Pan Am and uh, I guess make our decision so I'll see you guys next time <laughs>